I'm I'm on a PA, PR 40 right now. This is um, this is the old standby for uh, most all the hosts here on uh, on uh, Twit, whether it's uh, the PR 40 or PR 30. But a lot of guys have an old D104, either from their CB days or whenever. Let me put my headphones on because I'm going to have to listen a little bit here as we get this all cranked up. And um, again, um, I don't play any games with this. And all of this stuff is set flat. And that's the way it should be. So, we're, you know, we can't play any games. But to me, this is the worst microphone ever. I hate it. It's a, it's a mechanical cluster. I don't know why you guys like it. Oh, it's cool looking. Well, it might be that. But it's hard to use all this. I, it's just awful. My... Uh, Early days, it was known as the chicken choker. And, and if you like it, okay. But here's why I really don't like it. We're going to turn this off. And I'm going to turn this off. Turn this guy on. And this is why I don't like it. It's extremely tilted in the treble side. Uh, even for DX work, it's just too shrill. It's it, it's a it's a, an element made of crystal, and uh, it it just drives you nuts to listen to it. And I hear guys rag chewing with this, and it's like ah, putting needles in your ear. And there's not much you can do about it, even with trying to EQ it. Uh, here, uh, uh, there, I just turned up the bass. That's it. Take it or leave it. And uh, the only way to make them work is, um, now let me get off this thing. It drives me nuts to listen to it. <laughs> the only way to make them work, and, and you can make them work, but you have to build a very special high impedance preamp. You got to do a bunch of emphasis and de-emphasis and then make it work. But, oh, it's a lot of work. No, nah, there's a lot of easier ways to do it today. But now I got another one. And you know, if you listen to me for a long time, if you see some of the things I do in person in the clubs, one of the things I detest are condensers. I know. You're, well, I'm going to prove to you tonight why. See, it's all right to say things, but how about proving it? Okay. And that's what we're going to do. Again, not playing games. Everything is right down the line, equal. But here's why I don't like condensers. I'm going to just turn this level down. And I'm going to turn this level up. Now, here's another thing I'm going to do. Um, let me do this. Okay. First of all, you hear the whole room echo. And if you have any kind of blowers or noise in the background, it's louder than I am. And it's like, it's pretty awful. When I hear guys with condensers, this is what I hear. I hear the whole room echo, which just drives me pretty crazy. Because I know you can get rid of it. And how do you get rid of it? You forget condensers. It's an ego trip microphone. Oh, I have a condenser. Good for you. But listen to it. It's awful. Check this out. Here's the PR40. Do you hear all that junk in the background? No. And I'm not playing games with you. If I bring up the condenser, listen. It picks up my voice, but it's still, it, it, the voice isn't as good as the 40. And all this noise, that's just that little receiver up there. We turn that down. See, I haven't touched that receiver. And so it's one, of those, it's one of those things that you make the choice. But you have to really rethink this condenser thing. Uh, if there would be any use, it would be an absolute, absolute recording studio that's probably got a million and a half dollars worth of treatment uh, to the walls. There are no standing waves. There's no reflections. And that's a different deal. 
But we're not talking about that. We're talking about ham radio, and you should never have a condenser microphone on ham radio. Oh, but I bought one for forty dollars. Yeah, right. Well, you heard what you you heard what you heard. <laughs> and I just get really infuriated because it's so much better. But we figured out how to even improve the quality of the condenser by using large dynamic elements and nobody ever had tried to do that well i can't say that sure tried it several times and failed years ago that from one of their engineers but we have to think about what we're going to do with these things when you plug them in and and so i i, I set this all up tonight uh, i've got the condenser into uh, channel four of the Elises, and the PR40 is into uh, channel one. And equalization is set on all of them. The D104 is uh, stuck into the, uh, I've got a little impedance transformer for it, by the way. That's another thing. This thing's, this thing's about, I think the last count I had, and it varies from what I hear, but it's in the millions of ohms, the impedance of a crystal element. And you go jabbing that into the front end of a uh, of a low impedance transmitter, and you're in trouble right away. But um, they did a thing uh, when the CB guys, the CB craze, oh, isn't this cool? <laughs> when the CBers got with the D104, which was built back in the 30s and died for many decades until the CBers came along, they had to do something. So they built an active impedance matcher in the bottom of that microphone. And everybody thinks it's a preamp. No, it is not a preamp. <laughs> it takes a million ohms and makes about a thousand ohms out of it actively. So that's what that's all about. And a lot of guys get in trouble trying to match it up. Well, it certainly isn't a gain problem. It has a lot of output, I got to tell you that. But anyway, that's uh, that's some of the things I've been playing with. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy. I hope you learned something from that condenser episode. Oh, I got to show you something. I got to show you something. I keep forgetting this each week. This is the coolest thing, and you don't see much about it. You know, you have microphones that screw on a stand, and you want to take it off real quick. There's a thing that's made by Atlas Stand, and it's called the LO2. I have dozens of these around here. Just about everything I have has an LO2 on it. Is this cool or what? It's 5H27 the threads so it sit, fits a standard mic th thread and then it's got the little quick release keep your eyes open when you see all the concerts and all of the stuff on tv all of us that are out there doing stages and artists almost every one of them's got an lh lo2 why because we can take the mic off real quick and that's that's a cool little deal they're on the internet you can find them atlas L O two. It's really cool. It's a it, it's a neat piece. There it is, right there, and um, it, it's it's so helpful. George, do you use L O twos? I bet you know about an L O two, don't you? Well, yeah, I've seen those a lot, and no, we really don't use them much around the studio because those mics are there, and we don't want anybody taking them away. <laughs> Well, they're sure used in our industry a lot. And just thought I'd show some of you guys some of these cool things that we have.